All right, this is it guys. After much waiting and much speculation, after this data download finishes, we are officially going to find out exactly what the global first Phase Vegito Blue Extreme Z Awakening looks like, what he's going to do, what his passive is, what his leader skill is, all that good stuff. So, okay, here we go, here we go. So the event is actually officially live. If you're watching this right now, you can actually go into the event and run it. But uh, let's see what this guy is all about. Okay, so it must it must say here. Nope, not here. Um, Where do I go to look, actually? I don't even know. Wait, let's go to the event. Okay. And it says... Come on, okay. So leader skill, super class, key plus four, HP, attack, and defense plus 80%. Okay, not, not bad. Not bad, I was kind of expecting 100%, maybe even 120%, maybe that was expecting too much though, since that's the same leader skill as the AGL Goku. So 80%, not bad, not bad. Okay, now let's get into the really interesting thing, which of course is the passive attack and defense plus 40% at the start of the turn. That's really, really good guys. 40%, the exact same as AGL Super Vegito's. Um, attack and defense boost actually and he is really freaking good so 40% not bad great chance of launching up to two additional attacks each of which has a medium chance of becoming a super attack damage received from normal attacks minus 40% and counters with tremendous power and also the ooh okay super attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage okay so let me just quickly compare that to the current is Vegito Blue before Extreme Z Awakening? Because I'm pretty sure he still got some kind of boost on his super attack. Uh, let's see here. Okay, uh, actually no, I was wrong. Okay, so he didn't get attack and defense at all on his super attack, so that's new. And also, of course, this guy had no attack and defense boost before the Extreme Z Awakening, so now he gets 40%, and I believe he also gets 10% more damage reduction um, on normal attacks. And everything else should actually Actually, I believe before it was 10% chance, because right now it says chance of becoming a super attack, not medium chance. So basically 40% attack and defense, medium chance to uh, become super attacks for each of the additional attacks. So an additional, I guess, 20% for each of those attacks to, to be super attacks. And then on top of that, we have 10% more damage reduction. I am completely okay with this, guys. All right, I, I've always said um, don't expect anything crazy, but I think that this Extreme Z Awakening actually will make him extremely, extremely powerful. Don't, you know, look at the 40% and just assume it's not good because a lot of people did that with the AGL Super Vegito. And if you look at the calculations, and even, even though I know sometimes calculations are not like the perfect representation of how units perform on like an actual team or in like a regular team that most people would run, um, the calculations showed that the AGL Super Vegito's Extreme Z Awakening actually makes him the second hardest TUR, hardest TUR, hardest hitting TUR in the entire game. So I, I, I'm i gonna predict that uh, Fizz Vegito Blue, you know, not having done any gameplay, not having done, you know, any calculations or anything like that, he's gonna be one of the hardest hitting TURs in the game as well with this Extreme Z Awakening. Of course, a showcase is coming very, very soon, so stay tuned for that. I'm actually tempted to just like start a stream right now. Um, like literally, it's, it's been three minutes or four minutes since the data download finished or came out since the maintenance finished. And I kind of want to just start a stream and just like get this guy done so I can not showcase him on my main account. You know what I mean? So I might do that. But either way, that is the Fizz Vegito Blue Extreme Z Awakening, guys. I know everybody was waiting for the details. I was as well. And uh, there you go. So attack and defense. Greatly raise attack and defense um, and immense damage on the super, and then keep plus four attack and defense, HP attack and defense plus 80% for the leader skill, and then attack and defense plus 40% at the start of the turn. Great chance of launching up to two additional attacks, each of which has a medium chance of becoming a super attack, and then damage received from normal attacks minus 40% encounters with tremendous power. Extremely good. Extreme Z Awakening, no pun intended. Hope you guys are uh, satisfied with that. But of course, it, before you you know form a full opinion, wait for the gameplay, wait for the showcase coming very soon. As far as the weakness for the actual event, um, I don't know why I clicked out of it because it must be on the same page. It is gonna be, let's see, um, Time Travelers. There you go. Time Travelers is the weakness uh, for the event and of course extreme STR types as well since he is a super fizz type. 
and uh, the rest is the same as normal Extreme Z Awakening events or Extreme Z battle events. So one stone for the first 30 levels, uh, you get some Kai's, you get some orbs, and then Hercule statues after level 30. And that's it guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, and uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think about the overall details of Fizz Vegito Blue's Extreme Z Awakening. Like I said, I think he's going to be extremely, extremely good. I think he's going to hit extremely, extremely hard with just a 40% attack and defense boost. And uh, defensively, he is going to be better. Um, he's still not going to be taking supers well, for sure. Like, you don't want him to take a super by any means. But uh, he's going to take normal attacks really well. And, you know, maybe not die to most super attacks, hopefully. So, that's it for now. That's the video. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch it. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out. <laughs>